Let's get into it with decimals. But more specifically, how do I read decimals? Ooh. Read everything before the decimal point as normal. When you get to the decimal point, say and. Read the number to the right of the decimal and say the place of the last digit. Now that sounds complicated. And I know a lot of people usually say and when they're reading another a regular number like 100 and 10. No, it's just 110. And is when you get to the decimal point. See this guy right there? You see him? Let me zoom in. You see that guy right there? Oh yeah, all right. So this is 248. I'm gonna read it like normal. Everything before the decimal point, read it like normal. 248 and, then we gotta read the number to the right, that's just three, and say the place of the last digit. It's in the tenths place, so three tenths. 248 and three tenths. And then I wrote it out for you so you can see it. 248 and three tenths. So you can see what I'm saying. And then for this one, again, I'm gonna read everything like normal. That's to the left. 64. And, and then I'm gonna read this like normal and say the place of the last digit. 77. And this, this seven right here is in the hundreds place. So 77 hundreds. The whole number, 64 and 77 hundreds. All right, so oops, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's come back here. All right, 66, sorry, 64 and 77 hundreds. Oh, got it out. Now what about this guy? How would you read this number? Hopefully you said 45 and seven tenths. 45 and seven tenths. This seven is in the tenths place. What about this guy? Ooh, this one looks tough. I'm gonna save that one. Let's come to this one. All right, what about this? Eight and 24 hundreds. Eight and 24 hundreds because we have 24 and the four is in the hundreds place. All right, now this one, this one's this one looks scary, but it's not, it's not, it's not. This one's 137 and three hundreds because this three is not in the tenths place, it's in the hundreds place. 137 and three hundreds, all right? That didn't look so bad, That was that was easy, right? That was easy. Let's do a little bit more practice. How would you read this number? Well, we got a two in the tenths place, so that's simply two tenths. Easy, right? All right, we got an eight in the hundreds place. There's no tenths this time, so we'll just focus on the eight in the hundreds place. That's simply eight hundreds. All right, again, no tenths, but we got one in the hundreds place. Easy, easy, one hundredth. Simple. We got a seven in the tenths place. Guess what, y'all? That's seven tenths. All right, we got one and one hundredth. One and one hundredth. Two tenths, three hundredths, I see 23 hundredths. What about this beast right here? Let's take it one step at a time, one place, one period at a time, how about that? 7,362 and eight tenths. 7,362 and eight tenths. It's not as bad as you might think. Just read the number like normal, say and when you get to the decimal point, and then read the number and say the place of the last digit. So if it's in the tenths place, eight tenths. If this was in the hundreds place, say eight hundredths. All right, I think we got it. 